Oh, I'm inside. Okay. All right, and as long as you watch watch your damn language. Where is everybody? I told them to get out of my sight. What happened? The charlatan used my own people to beat up Kytus. He's alive, barely. That sucks. I know you and Kytus are close. I... You don't know shit. I didn't call you here for a pity party. Why did you call me? Not that I'm complaining. The charlatan left a note on Kytus' body. He wants to settle things between us. Meeting spot is in Drowlea. Could be a trap. You think? I can't trust my own people, but you... You're an outsider. And you've proven reasonable before. The charlatans had plenty of time to act. Why make a move now? That's a good question. I ignored the collective for too long. Thought they were just another ragtag group of upstarts. Now they're bold and dangerous. What happened to Kytus is on me. I've got to end this before it gets worse. Are you with me? Sure thing. As a cutting plan, um, I get in makeup to look like you and go as a body double. Um, scout situation because purely on accident I picked a character design that is absolutely identical to Sloan Kelly. I didn't know what the character looked like before I picked this. <laughs> and yet here we go. I'll watch your back. Kadara's fate will be decided at this meeting. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but hey, shit happens, right? Meet me at this location. I'll go on ahead. Facial makeup, put a little gray in my hair. Um, talk to Liam about oh, with accent coaching. It'd be perfect, right? I just find it absolutely nuts that the character design for Sloan Kelly is a possible character design. <laughs> One of the possible character design picks. For <laughs> uh, for me. Okay, who am I picking for my other party members? Oh, I got a couple new um, paint jobs. Uh Let's do um Nebula for the new paint shop. Let's pop, pop over to that. All right, finish the silly the silly loading. <laughs> uh. But seriously, for this mission, if you p if your character design that you pick is close enough to Sloan Kelly's, it should give you the option to pull the ball, pull to pull a, a bait and switch body double trick. Bag the uh, collective thinks they're meeting Sloan Kelly, and instead they are talk running into the Pathfinder. Wait, Sloan Kelly isn't biotic? <laughs> Either that, or depending on, like, how good your accent is is based on how much time you've spent hanging out with Liam. If you haven't spent time hanging out with Liam, 
Apparently, I forgot to put the parking brake on. Alright, so it's up that way. Give me the tunnels. Smuggler's dream. I've been spending most of it. We've got targets. You ever need a shoulder to lean on? I can, you know, ask around. Got a box of spares somewhere? You know it. Love that that gives you the option to basically just blow right through the checkpoint. Same thing like earlier with the landmines, where it's like, oh hey, there's landmines here. You could, you know, get off, go out and go out, go through this open area on foot, or I missed it, banger. Or you can just hit the afterburners going that way. No way, this doesn't get ugly. Of course not. Where we really head in? Iridium! Took your sweet time. Come on, let's get this over with. I'm with you. Okay. Probably should have saved right before I went in, but that's okay. You look like you're waiting for some. Rez? For a guest. I'm here for the charlatan, not some third-rate smuggler. They're one and the same. Surprise. Hey, this was your plan. The Angaran spy. Your interest in the Rokar murders. Everything you've done has been to undermine Sloane's power. Death by a thousand cuts. You said you wanted to settle things. How? <clears throat> a duel. You and me, right now. Winner takes Kadara port. You want to avoid war by shooting each other? Two people shooting each other is better than a lot of people shooting each other. I'll take those terms. Shit. Um, Sloane's... I don't know how much of a administrator Reyes would be. Sniper, your sights are set on Sloan. Sniper! <laughs> Damn, cover. If you're gonna play fair, I expect you to actually play fair. Shoot him! to hide. My people will find him, then his head goes on a spike. <sighs> There's got to be a better way to do this. You know, we got Elidin. We have the outcast base on Elidin. Give him Elidin. You take Kidara. It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven, right? No. No more heads on spikes. No more public executions. Not even out the fucking cave, and you're making demands. I saved your ass. You're alive because of me. It's time you start playing nice. I'll never trust Tan with the initiative. But you're out of the doghouse.
Okay, interesting. Wonder how many drunk idiots have fallen in there. That is a good question. Hi, oh, how you doing? Yeah, uh, this is true. <laughs> You're dealing with pirates. You never do fight. They never do fight fair. I was expecting gut. Like, did you call the quest? Old high noon. I expect you to settle this like gunslingers. <laughs> uh, Reyes ain't dead. I mean, I don't trust Sloan. I don't. I don't expect Sloan to suddenly magically trust Dan. Uh, trust T uh, Administrator Tan, because Tan's a weasel. Tan's kind of a piece of crap. Not a piece of shit, but a piece of crap. He's not. Come on in. He's not really suited for his do for what he's doing. Pathfinder, come to collect on the debt I owe you. <sighs> I've proven myself an ally. It's time you start treating me like one. You're a real pain in the ass, you know. I've sort of heard. I've heard that, that works. <sighs> but you did save my life. I know the Nexus needs outposts. Kadara's in better shape than most planets. I think it, I think actually taking this tack would annoy her. Whereas big it professional. This is the right call, Sloan. We don't have the numbers to keep fighting each other. We need to work together. I'll work with you, but not with Tan. The Nexus exiled us to die. I've neither forgiven nor forgotten that. Both parties have a right to be angry, but this outpost is our chance for a better future. Together. Your diplomatic bullshit won't work on me. I get a cut of whatever your settlers produce. Think of it as a protection fee. Plenty of collectives still running around. Wouldn't want them to get ideas. That almost sounds like extortion. It is. Do we have a deal? Are you going to be nice to me now? Don't push your luck, Sarah. Hey, call me by my first name. And we got something set up on Alright, uh, so Map, we have to actually go out there now and plant the outpost. This one I'm gonna want Liam on. And this is all kind of related to his loyalty mission quests. I think there's a bunch more dialogue for Liam and Vetra that we haven't gotten yet. Well, Liam and Direct haven't gotten yet. Let's do Liam and Vetra. It's a combination we haven't gotten much of. <laughs> Finish loading. Kadara is the worst planet when it comes to loading. The worst. Everyone else, everywhere else is generally much more optimized when it comes to loading. 
All right. Pathfinder, Kadara is now a viable option for an outpost. The Badlands still aren't exactly safe, but with the Collective's protection, we should be okay. But we, we're not the Collective protection, it's the Outcast protection. Uh, it's Sloan's protection. That's what I've... Wow, that, that's a dialogue glitch. Um... So we're planting over here. Closest fast travel point is this one. Again, physics object. It's a stationary thing on a slope with wheels, so it is slowly rolling down, even though it's not so it should be theoretically in parking in park. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Alright, fine. I would actually get out and shoot you. And then there's this schmuck over here. Alright, fine. You know what? Let's gunsling. I think that's it. We can walk through all this water and we're not getting radiation burns. Woohoo! No force fields. Back to my really terrible parking job. over here. This area is viable for an initiative outpost pathfinder. Any family involved in the first contact war? How could this topic possibly help? It's small talk. Small talk is nice weather, not did your elder shoot my grandpa? That that's fair. <laughs> Confirmed. All counts. right, Kadara settled. I do like Vetra's uh, mock southern accent there. <laughs> Amazing. This may piss off as many people as you manage to feed. Director, I trust you're enjoying the show. I'm enjoying the progress. The show part is something else entirely. Honestly, an outpost on Kadara, where the worst of our exiles... No, technically they staked it. You better be sure about this. The, technically, the worst of the exiles went to Elodin, because that's the place where the people who got kicked out of Kadara and couldn't quite cut it out in the wastelands, or who, who, who couldn't cut, who were kicked out of the of Kadara port and were too big of assholes for the wastelands went. We can't turn our backs. Oh, and also the, uh... You weren't there, but you're here now. Who are you and looking sure. at? This is the last one, Pathfinder. The last golden failure we thought we'd lost. You did it. Another step forward, but of Wait, course... Wait, now... More. Who, who are the... Where are you more. looking at? Time for the public address. Think you can distill something motivational out of this? Something to sell Kadara. You'll actually run it? I may have concerns, but my ledger has one more outpost than it did yesterday. Sell it. Well, this is pretty much the old west in space. <laughs> Getting this far was hard, and it won't get easier. But it will get better. We have to want it to get better. Kadara is the frontier, as wild and as promising as it gets. 
I know we're up for it. For posterity, Pathfinder. Addison. All right. His R is down 100%, which means this has actually unlocked a couple options for me. All discovered planet to 100% viability. Woohoo! And we have a place to land. And I don't think this world has one of the um, Serp one of the architects. So that's not something I have to deal with. All right, and back to the tempest. All right. <laughs> Okay. So Kadara, now actually for really reals done. I told him to get out of my sight. What happened? The charlatan used my own people to beat up Kytus. He's alive, barely. That sucks. I know you and Kytus are close. I... You don't know shit. I didn't call you here for a pity party. Why did you call me? Not that I'm complaining. The charlatan left a note on Kytus's body. Oh, I'm inside. Okay. As long as you're inside, mind your damn manners. All right, and as long as you watch watch your damn language. Where is everybody? He wants to settle things between us. Meeting spot is in Drowlea. Could be a trap. What do you think? I can't trust my own people, but you, you're an outsider. And you've proven reasonable before. The charlatans had plenty of time to act. Why make a move now? That's a good question. I ignored the collective for too long. Thought they were just another ragtag group of upstarts. Now they're bold and dangerous. What happened to Kytus is on me. I've got to end this before it gets worse. Are you with me? Sure thing. As a cutting plan, um, I get in makeup to look like you and go as a body double. Um, to get a situation because purely on accident, I picked a character design that is absolutely identical to Sloane Kelly. I didn't know what the character looked like before I picked this. <laughs> and yet, here we go. I'll watch your back. Kadara's fate will be decided at this meeting. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Hey, shit happens, right? Meet me at this location. I'll go on ahead. Facial makeup, put a little gray in my hair. Um, talk to Liam about uh, with accent coaching. It'd be perfect, right? 